What's up, everybody? It is Demo with Demo Vapes. Tonight, we're going to be taking a look at the 502 and trying to build it up, and I'm hoping for a little bit of help. So, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've kind of struggled with this RDA off and on, and <clears throat> I am kind of just having an, some, some issues. And I put a few different builds in there. I brought some coils that I made for this for the, uh, I think, the fourth attempt I'm making. And uh, yeah, so we'll see how these go. And if these don't work out, we'll build some coils and uh, see where we're going from there. So um, first of all, I hope you all noticed that I know how to start a stream on time, unlike Stan. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, just, just, just messing around with him. So, uh, so welcome, everybody. Let's see. Uh, oh, and by the way, I do want to say something right away, ad addressing uh, you know uh, some of the comments. Um, let's just you know we'll we'll just kind of keep our you know people are like oh it's just it's terrible it just doesn't work it's not good and stuff like that. I I, I know that there are people who I trust that actually do like this RDA, and so I'm kind of trying to figure it out and see if I can get it to work. So um, you know. If that's your opinion, that is you. You have that right to that opinion, but uh, I'm trying to give it a give it a fair shot here. So let's see here. So how's everybody doing today? <clears throat> um, Panda, yes, I, I I've tried various different velocities of suction, so to speak. So um, so yeah. Yeah, so the coils I have tonight are three millimeter, 28 gauge fused Clapton's Nichrome. They should be somewhere around 0.3, maybe, maybe a little bit higher than that. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. So, because I mean, at the moment, obviously this has no build in it. If Jared shows up, I will be happy to bring him in here. So. I've tried a lot of different things. So I've, uh, the ones I have are three millimeters. I'm going to try installing these. You know, this this might be a little bit of a longer stream, but uh, you know, we're going to try a, a few different things and see if we can't get this to produce some good flavor. So, Swaggins, eleven dollar five hundred two is probably not an authentic five hundred two, but you should you should buy it and find out. Don't don't do that actually. So I, I hear everybody saying you know two and a half millimeters i will i will be giving that a shot so uh you know don't uh don't get your undies in a bundle there Let's see someone asked what kind of pod this is this is the vaptio c flat and i received this for review um first of all it's huge right and uh you know second of all i don't know it's just it's so the way the pod comes out is you pull this drip tip off and then you push this away to lift it out it's like got a little notch in there and the problem is that when it's in your pocket, boom, that's all you have to do. And then it just, this these two pieces come apart. And then it's really hard to get back in there without taking that tip off. So this is going to get its own review, though. Let's see here. Let's see here. All right. Let's see. Um, I have a lot more subscribers create content uh reload is probably my still i would say reload is still my favorite rda yeah uh let's see here all right what's up joel um this goes very close to the airflow yep so sometimes that does do wonders to the flavor and other times i've actually i've actually re i've actually started going back to my lucid rda right and i i kind of tried a few different things on it and um you know initially um did i say reload Lucid, sorry, Lucid RDA. Um, and I've tried a few different things with that. And when I first got it, I wasn't super impressed with it. But I've actually, contrary to what the suggestions are, I've been drawing the coils in further. And I find that I'm getting much better flavor with the coils just in a little bit more because I think that air goes underneath the coils. So I'm going to try a few different things. So, um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Chris. Got my natural light all around me. This is my new office slash bedroom. There's a couch uh, couch behind me that uh, will not be here for very long, um, and uh, it'll be a little bit cleaner looking, I suppose. So, uh, so yeah, cool, awesome. All right, well, let's get this let's get this show on the road, um, and I'm gonna try to do a you know my first builds with this uh, these 28 gauge fuse Claptons that I have, and see what happens. So, let me uh, 
let's see here. I'm going to try to figure out how to do this. I'm going to try to figure out a way to get this to, to pan down so I can show you guys what I'm doing. So uh, it says casting couch, man. Um, well, I'll put it this way, uh, Mr. Just Right. If, if by the end of all of this and by the end of my review, which I will be shooting, mm, I think either a little bit later tonight or tomorrow, depending on how the light works and, you know, schedules and whatnot. The problem with shooting in a bedroom is that people sleep in it. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's just kind of, kind of how that goes. Um, so I'm, I'm, I've been changing my, uh, sleep schedule. So anyway, I, uh, Dave, I don't do anything with Canthal. I'm not a Canthal guy. I don't like the flavor I get off of it. Ugh, pull this cap off. Okay, there we go. All right. So as you can see, we have a. As you can see, maybe with my focus. Nope. Come on. Well, anyway, you get the idea, right? Virgin, not virgin, but hello. Uh, <laughs> unbuilt five hundred two. I pulled the build that I had in there out, and uh, Jared the vaping goat. What is up, dude? You should come into this uh, this hangout because this is this is your uh, your realm because you actually like the five hundred two and I'm trying to find trying to figure it out, man. So let's see where did my this is what I was drinking. Yes. All right. Let's just see if this doesn't look terrible. That's not too bad, I suppose. It's a little bit dark. I suppose I can raise the exposure a little bit. That's about as low as it'll go without me tilting the ball joint forward. There we go. Mm, I like it just a little bit higher. Do it like that. And yes, I am wearing pants. So, just so you know. Um, well, let me get you a link. Let me get Jared a link real quick. Hold on one second here, guys. Cool. All right. Jared has a link now. All right. Let me also raise my exposure here real quick. Oops. This is what happens when you do stuff live and you're not used to shooting during the daytime. Oh, but that's all fucked now. There we go. That's better. Okay. Cool. All righty, guys. Let's uh, let's let's do this. So I sent Jared an invite. Jared, let me know if you uh, have trouble getting it. I just realized I should have clipped my nails. I apologize for that, guys. I mean, I'm kind of wearing pants. Like I'm wearing a nice shirt and like basketball shorts because that's how I do things. And apparently, I have a stain on my shirt. It's a good time. I clearly was not prepared for this crotch cam view. Well, I don't see any crotch to you, but you know, whatever. Let me grab a vape real quick off of my off of my redemption real quick here. Got those new 30T batteries in. So these are amazing. Highly recommended. Cool. All right. Stop messing around. And get to it. Grab my screwdriver. Oh, I should probably get my headphones on if Jared's coming in because I don't want that feedback to come through. You didn't get it. Okay. Hold on. I'll do this the other way. Hello. New message to Jared. There you go. All right. Now, Jared, I sent it to you on Facebook, so you should have it now on Facebook. So. Those were authentic 30Ts, one, and I got them from imrbatteries.com. I don't know if they're still in stock, but I will put a link real quick for those. Cool. 
Cool. All right. That's where I buy pretty much all of my batteries, that and Lion Wholesale, um, because I trust them and I know that they're authentic. Um, oh yeah, you're right. I, I do sit, I do sit, literally I sit gamer hand. I have, yep, I sit gamer hand for real. I'm used to it. All righty. I mean, so, you know, I think the Vapcell rewraps are fine. I mean, I've heard nothing but good things. I know Stan is using those. Um, so, I mean, I'm sure they're okay. Is this the right one for this? Feels a little bit big, the screwdriver does. There we go, okay. Did I put that? No. Someone just said Keck in chat. So you are a 4chan person. So fun fact, this is a little thing, right? And you guys might already know this or, you know, but you know, like, I, I don't know if, if you guys are like me, I get anxiety when like, like I get screw anxiety, like thread anxiety where like, I'm like worried that I'll like pull the screw out and it'll fall and I'll never be able to find it. The best way I found to pull your screws out all the way and then not have them fall out is to, with your screwdriver in there, pull them out all the way until you feel that click and then drive them back in just a little bit, right? And it's a little thing, right? It's, it's, it's something super simple. I'm sure some of you are like, well, duh, but that's something that uh, really helped me out in the beginning. Well, hey there, buddy. Oh, well, hello there, Jared. What in the hell? Oh, hang on. I got to close this stupid thing real quick. Uh, I'll pull up uh, face cam real quick just so that uh, I can say hi. Oh, I'm trying to get this stupid thing to behave. <clears throat> I accidentally left my... Uh... There we go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so you're having issues with the 502. I have never gotten a good vape from the Stam RDA. What's what's uh, the vape that you're feeling? Is it too turbulent or just turbulent, no flavor or what? Turbulence, zero flavor. Um, I had a, an issue where the side shorted out. Like this this black piece that's supposed to be non-conductive, not 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 conductive. Yeah. It's conductive. Um, so I've I had it where like so okay. So you, if you say you have a mod like this, right, and you put okay. your 502 on the end of that mod, right, because uh -huh. the barrel can slip further into the actual, like the deck can slip further into the barrel than just the bottom, what happens yeah, is, no is that if, if, you, slip. Right, if you push it down and happen to just like push it a little bit too far on this one side and you're not careful, mm -hmm. it will touch your coil and short out. And yes, sure. that is something that, you know, I'm sure some some people would say, well, that's your fault. And it's like, mm, yeah, maybe. But, you know, at the same time, I don't I think it should have been designed with a stopper in the deck. Most RDAs. Well, have. yeah, it's like, you know, OK, so the one thing that I have learned to be true to form is like ninety nine point nine percent of vertical build RDAs are the polar opposite of what you're going to get into with horizontals. And obviously, other than the aesthetics of it or the build love it the big problem that you run into is that most of them do not dictate to the user the user has to dictate to them okay yeah horizontals are just bang bang there you go and you'll get something out of them right this is true i mean it's 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 one of those moments where it's like this has happened on several vertical coil rdas and i'm beginning to think that it's me and not the rdas right and so that's why i was like <laughs> all right i'm gonna start i'm gonna do this live stream because i genuinely want to figure out what's going on um but well, yeah, I know this is I know this is going to sound crazy. Okay, turbulence. It all comes down to your exact coil position on this thing because I still have yet to completely knock out the turbulence on it. Um, regardless, I you know most people say it's turbulent, and I do tend to agree. You really, really have to be very specific on what you do with it. Um, but as a rule of thumb, and I know this is going to sound a little crazy, but I use this pick all the time to uh, do my wicking. It's just a little angled little hobby pick, like a mechanics sure. pick. Uh, what I do, though, is I use the last angled tip of my pick to actually judge my uh, coil positioning. Yeah. 
Okay. I place it dead center to the one side, and then I gap it basically with the tip of that pick from the clamp to make sure that I'm not too close to the airflow to block it off, but at the same time, not far enough away, you know, to where I'm not going to get any flavor whatsoever. Right, you do right. have to walk the coils out very far. Right. I agree. No, it's, it's, that is, that is for sure. And I mean, I've noticed, I've noticed that, you know, with this is that it's, it's a little bit more, I mean, it definitely is complex. Right. And I mean, as someone who would be a self-described like builder guy that like, I feel like I'm pretty good at building atomizers. Um, yeah. This frustrates the shit out of me because it's just a difficult build. But I've always said if something's a difficult build or it's got an inconvenient thing, but it ends up being a great vape, I'll take it. Right. But Thus far, it hasn't yeah. been that way. Uh, Dylan in chat asked, "You sure it didn't short on the tab?" And I know, I know what you're talking about—the the tab on the top cap. I am sure it didn't short on the tab because if my coils were here, the tab would have been over here somewhere, right? So when it, it sort of, kind of, sort of, kind of, if you look at where the airflow positioning is, you know, your your bottom airflow ports are supposed to basically aim directly at the at the coil, okay? Sure. And then you top cap, and your top cap. Here's one of the side airflow if you're running dual. That that tab actually sits right next to that top cap. So it, in theory, if everything is assembled correctly, then yes, it should not be near the coil. But if you have just one little thing out of whack, like let's say Yeah, I'm see, I'm looking at it. I'm just like trying to I don't I don't think that that was it. Cause like I'll put it this yeah, way. I wouldn't think it would be either, because you would basically have to set it up for the single airflow option in order right. to get it too I'll put close it to this coil. way. When you have a short that happens on metal, it always leaves a, a black arc mark uh -huh. in general. Yes, it I, does. I didn't <laughs> find any black arc marks when I pulled it out. But of course, the conveniently the place that doesn't that show show black arc marks is the uh is the black uh, barrel. So and I know that's obviously not yeah, why yeah, you did an, that, but you know, it's, yeah, that that, an, that anodizing process tends to hide away any uh, charring shorting yeah, marks. Absolutely. So, like the coils that I'm running in here right now, I have got a set of uh, dual 26, uh, 36 wrap fuse Clapton, and I'm running what one, two, three, four, five, six wraps. So basically, I'm running from four. the clamp. Do what? That's exactly the build that I had on before, except it had 40 gauge on the outside. So, yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah, my standard, uh, the standard I've actually, and I'm terrible because I know that there's so much better coil out there, but this coilology wire has just done me well so far. It's fine. And I change it. So. Look, I, I, I th the difference between 36 and 40 on a fuse claps in is essentially the ramp up time. You'll get much faster with 40. Yeah. A 36 is still yeah. a good vape. I still like a, a 26, 36. So one, one quick thing, I know we're here for the 502, but one quick thing I wanted to show you guys is this is a relatively fresh uh, 30T. I've had it on here for maybe an hour. I think I've vaped a little bit. These are three millimeter coils. This is a 0.1 ohm build. I know that is lower than the amp rating, so don't, you know, build build safe. You know, if you build like this, it's on you, right? But anyway, watch the ramp up. Damn. I mean, you know, like, I don't think I've ever had a two bond ramp up like quite like that with this kind of build on it, so... <laughs> I, I, like i'm trying to make it feisty it's kind of like re reborn my love for two mods like I, i'm falling back in love with them because of this one battery leaves i just said so one yeah, battery I've, leaves I've i don't know why i said that weird <laughs> all right I say, well, i'm, I'm, I'm greatly pitch. yeah i am greatly in love with this ghoul rda i, I stuck a freaking parallel build, build a uh a, a two types of parallel or uh, two types of fuse claptons inside of this thing. So I'm basically running a parallel build at 0.13 in this little single coil RDA. It's awesome. Right, right, right. All right. If you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and present myself, but you know, keep, you keep talking. Yeah, they can obviously yeah. keep, you hear you. So, okay, let's get to this. I'm going to need my pliers for sure for this. And uh, damn it. I yeah. The, the one thing oh, that I know yeah. for sure is that, you know, the wicking is is not necessarily key on the bottom end. I mean, it is and it isn't. The bottom end wicking does kind of fuck with your turbulence a little bit. Um, but the wicking on top of the coil is really, really what dictates what you're getting into. You Absolutely. Know? Absolutely. By the way, if you're looking for a good set of uh, pliers for vape-related things, these little guys... I mean, they they look like wire cutters, right? But they're little fucking micro pliers, dude. These things are wow the tits for vaping because they just grab onto stuff so well. 
Yeah, I, I just picked up a, a pair of uh, cutters and uh, pliers from, a, of all places, Home Depot. They had a Crescent uh, micro uh, flat cutter set and pliers set, and they're not quite, my pliers aren't that fine, but. Okay, so, you know, oh, you know what? I'm making a mistake right away. Okay. All right. <laughs> I know what I see. It's been a, it's been a minute since I've rebuilt this because so you know with me when an atomizer gives me shit, um, you said to the side. <laughs> I, put it on time, I put it on timeout because I can't do it. Like I like it, it makes me too when I when I get like frustrated and mad during a build. I'm like nope, nope, you're done. Yeah, and see, yeah, that's like the one place where you and me differ because when it, when an atomizer pisses me off, I will beat myself to death trying to sort it out. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do. This. See, I got I got really lucky the first time that I built the 502 because the first time that I built it, I nailed it, and then I chased the next five builds trying to figure out how to get it right again. Right, 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 right. Uh, Ameth, Ameth, Ameth. Uh, I, I'm still not getting that right. I apologize. Uh, I got these on Amazon. <laughs> I I, I just searched uh, like micro pliers. Um, I can put a link in the description in a little bit if you don't mind waiting around. Um, any any tools you guys want me to see, uh, you know, uh, any tools you guys are interested that I'm using, uh, just let me know and I'll try to, you know, I'll try to get that in the description. So let's see here. Basically, Demo says, I got the hookup on goodies. Not really. <laughs> I just know where to get them. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. I use the rod because I think that it helps with overall placements oh it does it does usually so, using two helps a lot in i have to um what i'm trying to figure out what i think i'm going to do here is you know what actually i'm not going to use the rod right away i'm going to just do this i bring it flush to the side cut it because i'll pull it out mm -hmm. do these also these nipex cutters dude these guys uh they're like about basically 30 bucks on amazon for one set Right, so they're oh, expensive, shit. but I will tell you that I have never had cutters that have cut metal more easily than this. These things <laughs> cut through. I cut a piece of twenty gauge the other day, like it was nothing. Like it was like it was crazy. Like, all right. <laughs> so let's see here. So I've got that one done. Let's do you, this uh, now. Let me ask you a question. You tend to prefer a hotter vape, don't you? I do, but you know what? I've I've been slowly kind of starting to prefer a cooler vape lately. So, um, I think that look, I, I don't mind a, a cool vape as long as it's a flavorful vape, right? I there is a difference, right? Um, I, I've been watching a lot of the Morton Owen movies or movies, Morton Owen videos lately, <laughs> and uh, you yeah. know, he he kind of he I, I think his theories are mostly good, but he has one thing that he says that I don't agree with in that he talks about like, well, so you see all that vapor, like how can there be no flavor, right? From, especially from his most recent video, Th those two things are not the same. So, um, I've, cause I've had plenty of vapor before and very little flavor. So, yeah. Um, you know, even just from experience alone tells me that those two things aren't the same. Okay. I got to level my desk. So these things don't roll off. <laughs> I have the same problem. I'm always building on my uh, on my keyboard tray on my desk, and it's always slanted downward towards me. <laughs> right, right, right. So is this is this the temporary setting that you have setting? Temporary what? For uh, shooting? No, this is it. This is the new setting. Oh cool, cool. balls! I, that was stupid. That was totally my fault. <laughs> that was being dumb. I'm gonna just right as I was going, right, <laughs> right as I was coming into the chat, I heard your uh, your uh, screw anxiety. I I agree. That's but you know thing. what I mean, right? Like it's like like uh, oh yeah. The big one I get is the five ten thread anxiety when I'm unscrewing an atomizer from a mod, where I'm like oh because yeah. uh, you get to that last couple threads, and sometimes <laughs> it was just like boop, and it'll fall, and you drop it, and it's just like. God. <laughs> Well, see, my uh, my um my coordination is really bad, as far as you know, because my nerve damage. So it's like I don't react as fast as I used to. So yeah, I tend to drop shit all the time. So I'm always scared when I'm, especially when I'm doing the clamps on the five hundred two. I'm like, I use tweezers instead of my fingers because I'm just afraid or something and throw the screws all over the room. Right. Okay. So now I will use the zarads to get these all lined up. 
I think what I'll do is I'll tighten the center down first. You tighten yeah. the center down first or the outside clamps? Okay. Yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, no, uh, you can do it either way because, like, when I did my review, I actually tightened down. I just placed them in the uh, center post and then I tighten down the outer clamps first, but it is easier to do it with the center post first. You're actually without using the rods so far. I use the rods a lot in horizontal builds, but I just don't think that's the same kind of thing. Um, yeah, I the, the only thing I, I start using and putting uh, a bit in a screwdriver is hard. Okay. <laughs> Monkey hands there. That's All a right, bitch, go, isn't it? Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Well, yeah, what I was saying is uh, basically once I snug them down is usually when I'll start using the two rods just so I can kind of keep my negative leads right. kind of where I want them. Right. And so now that I have this going on... <laughs> I'm going to put the rods in there just to make sure these coils don't get all deformed. <laughs> if, they're, if they're any kind of flat wire at all, yeah. <laughs> right. they, they can get a little nuts. Okay. So that's pretty tight now. You know, on a side note, I just got the VCMT2. Oh, my God. I love this tank. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> all right. White House Vape Club, thank you very much for the $10. I'll sit. Money. All right. Let me ch check a chat. Someone was saying that it's better to push the coils lower. It can be depending on your build. I'm just going to, you know what? I'm just going to kind of wing it and then if, see how it vapes and then we'll go from there. Yeah, I think uh, my first build, my, uh, my entire uh, lead, my entire uh, negative lead was actually bent downward on my first build. Right, and I found that I can actually get pretty decent flavor out of it, uh, so with it being even with the deck. But it's all about how close you are to that air airflow, too. Oh balls! Did I just do that? No. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm gonna pull that out a little bit and see, because like you kind of have to pull them out first before you swing these clamps over. You know, I kind of I've okay, tried both ways. That, yeah, I kind of pull them uh, as center as I can between the center post and the. Uh, and the clamps and then I'll tighten down the clamp and then I'll just kind of gently pull and roll. Okay. I just wanted to see. Oh man, see someone like me with like huge ass hands, this is just kind of a bitch. Yeah, it's a chore. <laughs> All right. I think what I'm going to do, so I do this a lot actually uh, on RDAs like this where you have to really kind of mess with stuff you I, what i'll do is i will tighten down everything a little bit right so everything stays in place and then i'll untighten certain things as i need to move certain things around i guess if that makes sense yeah so all right so let's see i really need a magnetic screwdriver because this would make these kind of things oh uh, fuck i'm mag shit so <laughs> i magnetize mine on an old speaker Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it sounds crazy, but you know, I mean, when you're broke, you got to find ways, right? <laughs> All right. Exactly. So let's see if I can get this in. What's your uh, What's your inner diameter? Is it three? Three. Gotcha. Balls. Yeah, I've done three. The present build that I have is uh, two and a half, I think. This, these damn little clamps are just a pain in the ass. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Oh, you're trying to you're you're swinging the clamp and then dropping the screw in. Yeah. Oh, well, that's why that's kind of a pain for you. Well, it's actually. It's, no, go ahead. Yeah, what I did the what I did last time and I what I should have done is I should have put the screw in the clamp and then swung the clamp in, right? Which uh -huh. makes sense. Yeah, it's it's a lot easier that way. Right. <laughs> this whole this whole process is uh, I'm I'm. We're all going to learn together here, except for you. I guess you know what you're doing, but um, let's see here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. I, I only know enough to be dangerous. Well, you know what? That's all that really matters, right? Yeah, see, I'm actually, I've just pulled all my wicking on mine, and I'm going to play around with some coil placement. Going to screw with mine while you're screwing with yours. Why not? Yeah, boy! Yeah, bye. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah. See the I, I now. Tightened. 
Jay talks about Jay talks about the ideal range on the low end for it to be about a 0.25. Um, I think this will come out. I know that the build. That, yeah, yeah. I know that my first build that I actually really thoroughly enjoyed came out at like a 0.23, and I've put as low as a a, a, a 0.11 in it. I will say yeah. a 0.11. Yeah, that gets hot. I imagine. Let's just get this in there. Okay, cool. So now we're in there. So now I can mess with placement exactly. Come on, damn you. Get out of there. I got my diameters like so tight to 2.5. Getting them to adjust is a little interesting. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> are you using round wire or are you using... Oh, you were saying the Clapton's. No, no, no. Never mind. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. This is... Um, this is the uh, twenty six thirty six. I've I did a uh, multi strand in it as well. That was a it was a dual twenty six with a thirty six thirty eight. Hmm. Yeah, that that was um, interesting. In this, it wasn't like the worst by any means, but it was just it it kind of ramped up a little faster than I was expecting it to, and it tended to get a little hotter than I wanted it to. It was like a point three three build, which was weird. It just it just got a little hotter than I was wanting it to. So, yeah. Well, see, that's what I like. I like building a little bit higher resistance th with your coils just a little bit more efficient i guess is the best way to put that yeah. because um it just helps it just makes the vape just better in general I, it, for me anyway I, I, everyone's got their own preference so oh yeah um, absolutely all right let's see here okay yeah see the one thing that i do like about this device though is just the fact that you do get that one one piece of versatility that you don't absolutely have to center the coils to the post. You can kind of just put them wherever the hell you want to and then adjust it from as there. Long and as long as they're basically just place across. your coil properly. Yeah, this is true. You're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's not not so, okay. So I'm about, I would say I'm a little bit closer to the post than the wall. That's probably going to change that a little bit. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm going to low set mine a little bit. I'm about halfway now. Jesus. Oh, this is going to be fun to wick. Holy shit. Okay. All right. Oh, so I'm about halfway I'm between the, and the wall. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and tighten down that uh, center pin now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop these coils a little bit on the suggestion that that would be a good idea. Yeah, I'm doing that same thing. <laughs> I just want to see. Because I know what the flavor was like before. What I'll, do so. is I'll use the sides of my tweezers and just push them down. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, God. It's the only downside to having this many wraps. Oh. All right. So this is where we're at here, right? Focus. Yep. You piece of yep, shit. I see it. Why will you not focus on me? Because I'm here. Remember, cameras don't ever focus what? when I'm All here. All right, fine. Manual focus. Hold on one second. Let me just pull this up real quick. <laughs> Camera control. <laughs> there we go. You should remember that. Nobody shit focuses when I'm around. Okay. So that's... Oh, this is going to suck. There we go. That's what I've got. Six wrap. Are these six wraps? Seven wrap, seven wrap, seven wrap. Twenty-eight gauge fuse Claptons. They're not the prettiest because vertical coils are just not easy to do pretty. So. Oh yeah, you do, you always tend to contort the shit out of them. So. We're going so, manual. Yeah. So what I do from that position there is, I will leave a little bit of negative lead. Sometimes, if you've got them placed exactly where you want them, then you're good. Um. But I typically tend to leave the, leave the negative lead hanging a little bit, and then I will end up pulling my coils tight as balls. Okay. I'll just basically stick a coiling rod down each one, and then I'll just grab the negative lead and just pull it really, really tight. That way I can kind of tend to oh, roll. Oh, no, I'm in. pretty sure I just took a chunk out of that O-ring with my cutters. Oh, oh, that's all right. You got two. Yeah, I know, but I also if it was a, if it was a, a, I also scratched the shit out of the... Oh man, what a bummer! I don't know if you guys can see this. Now, let me see if I can adjust it. Advanced. I hate when I hate when that shit kind of shit happens. All right, let's see here. Uh huh. So you took a nugget out of the O ring, and let's see here. 
See that edge? Oh there? yeah. That is what yep, new wire that. cutters can do to the 502 RDA. <laughs> Holy shit! That was a, that like genuinely bit into the metal there. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, just bad. remember, lesson learned. I guess, but still, <laughs> damn, that sucks. Yeah. Well, the only positive, the only positive is that yes, you've got a spare O ring, which is good, and then the other positive is that what you just nicked will never be seen except for by you. Well, the only thing that I'm kind of worried about is because it's on the edge. I'm hoping that it won't affect getting the barrel on, but I don't, I don't think it'll be that. I, the tolerances are yeah, tight, which is it. why I'm sort of concerned. But anyway, all right, let's get these things fired up and let's see here. Did that fuck up my cutters? Let's find out. My thirty dollars cutters got messed up by that. You're like, nope. I will shit bricks. No, nope. <laughs> they seem to be totally fine. That's, That's because they are made in Germany. <laughs> das Kotter. Point two two <laughs> forty firing. Bring this down to like forty five watts. Ashtrays, remember, just says you just sold 15 more pairs of those cutters. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just pretty thick much. Ass stainless with this shit. I just like fuck yeah, some shit out of some like American made stainless. Don't burn yourself, damn it. Don't burn just, yourself. See, now, now you need to contact the uh, cutter company and just yeah. tell them, hey, you know what? I just bumped your sales. I need a cut. <laughs> I don't know if you intended to make that a joke, but. <laughs> that was funny. No pun intended. <laughs> Actually, every pun intended, but you know. Don't you fuck with me, you thing. Don't you fuck with the goat. Yeah, the goat will kick your ass. <laughs> now, see, one thing about the turbulence that I've definitely learned is that the, the, the top cotton... Definitely does not need to be very much. It yeah. does affect the flavor just a little bit, but you go too nuts with that shit, and it's just fucking game on for turbulent. Okay, well, we got this thing. My coils are damn near sitting on the base, or sitting in the bottom of the deck. Are these fuse claptons about to be giving me no trouble here? That's amazing. I always get trouble from fuse claptons. Uh, hot spots. Oh my god, yeah, dude. Okay, I have re-wicked right a rock. That was not easy, man. I set the freaking coils like maybe a half a millimeter away from the well. Oops. That is a tight ass fit. I don't even know if my tweezers were gonna gonna get in there, honestly. <laughs> okay, squonky. Oh yeah. So, have you been primarily dripping or squonking? I mean, I know you've been used primarily it a lot. squonking with this because it just seems to be the way gotcha. it's supposed to work. Okay. Yeah, I, I, you know, I hear, I hear mixed, mixed points of view on it too because there's a lot of people that really don't like it as a squonker, even though it's made that way, and they just prefer to drip the shit out of it just because they know they're not going to over drip it. I mean, if you over drip this thing, you've pretty much made a huge mess. So. <laughs> Right, well, frankly, if you overdrip the 502, you are genuinely like, how could you do that, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's like, um, you used way too much juice there, I promise. Oh, damn it. I've got one of those inter inter wrap hot spots, you know what I mean? Like where it's like not like uh -huh. it's not between the wraps, it's like within the wrap. <laughs> I don't know what to do. If anybody knows what to do about that, like you'll get a hot spot like within the Clapton itself, like where it like won't you can't squeeze it or anything to get it out because it's not between the coils, right? You use a coiling rod inside of it. Just brush it in and out while not firing. Yeah, I tend to get them out that way. I, I, I mean, okay. Yeah, I just basically just run up and in and out and in and out and fire it again and. This one is doing perfect things. Yep, 
yeah, I really don't find any improvement with dropping the coils down. That's about the same as what I had. Oh, so turbulent. Yeah, it increased my turbulence when I dropped them. It's also, it's like I said, I mean, that turbulence is so, so dictated by um, by how much cotton you have in it. Like, when you All go right. to wick this thing. I do have pants yeah, when you go James Franklin. Oh, James, just, James, stop being a meat gazer. We love you, dude. All right, by the way, I'm going to stop presenting myself for right now. Yeah, you're good, dude. You're good. I'm going to mess around with stuff real quick. Yeah, so I dropped, Um, let's see here two full wraps under the uh, clamp. If that tells you anything, how low they are. Oh, I'm still above the clamp all the way. It, oh, the I'm one like, thing I'm, I'm like level you, with the clamp. Well, that's how I was initially. I just went ahead and pulled it and pulsed it and went on about it. Dropped them down right. a little, see how that does. Right. I don't I know figure if Mike... Seeing... No, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, you're um, good. All right. So I don't know if Mike Tanguma is implying is talking about like the amount of time that it's taken me to get this build done being 20 to 30 minutes. Um, but uh, yeah, this is definitely taking a lot longer than most builds that I've ever done. <laughs> yeah. My average build time with a 502 is usually about eight to 10 minutes, but I've also done about 12 builds on it now. Just playing around with it. All right, looking good. He says, some bitch, we got this. Oh, got one hot spot coming out. <laughs> there we go. Now they're firing evenly. Oh, feisty. Yeah, I like that. All righty. This well, is not uh, me asking a stupid question. You do know how to place your barrel without actually having to look inside of it, right? Uh, like, we'll see well, what I've been... instead of instead of looking inside for the little notch port that oh, yeah. uh, where you, the coil you put these perpendicular. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yep. The other one's good man. I'll, good the, man. Other one I'll, the other one I'll do is I'll grab it like this, and then uh -huh. I'll line my fingers up with it. And frankly, I don't have any problem putting the barrel on, you know, with without looking i guess as long as i see it you know like i don't know so well, i've, these, I've come across cool a down real quick go ahead <laughs> well i've i've come across a few people that didn't realize that the airflow was exactly was perpendicular to the actual ports themselves so it was like well no it's fine really here just do this and they're like oh my god that's great <laughs> right right absolutely <sighs> see i've got that kind of light coming in <laughs> see what i really like yeah, when you I've go got, to wake this thing yeah oh i was just gonna say what i really like is i've got natural light i've got natural light here right here you can see it there and i've got natural light like way over here and i'm sitting right in front of the wall that's in between the windows which is like absolutely perfect for a shooting video because i get all the ambient light but none of the direct light yeah see the only natural light i have is this right here and it's like obviously you see it's kind of blah on one right. side Blown out a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, you were saying. Well, when you go to Wicket, the one thing that I have found is that when I first got it, um, you, you look at the well and you're like, okay, well, this tells me how much cotton I need to put in. And don't do that. Wicket, very, very like stupid thin and light down on the bottom. Because basically all you want, all you want that bottom wicking for is just capillary. You don't want it to sit there and be like a sponge. Right. I was going to show you the way I do. Uh, let me just put some hearts in chat real quick. People are calling me sexy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I love Jared's raw ever lighting. I've <laughs> ever been called sexy more in my life than since I started YouTube. Like, <laughs> I'll be really honest. <laughs> um, anyway, so let's see here. The just way walk I around do, and just be like, I'm sexy. I'm sexy. The way I do wicking in this, because it's really difficult to... Um, uh, I'm going to bring up my focus again. Let's see here. Focus. 
Take it off of auto. Oh, hold on. I got to put my, my uh, thing up there. There we go. Okay. Um, the way that I do my wicking is I will wick underneath the coil and then pull the tail into this other well over there. Uh huh. Yeah. Is that? I mean, I don't. I mean, like, I, I feel like at, yeah, at no. some point, what goes in the deck doesn't matter as much as like the the actual. Well, it, the it doesn't. It doesn't because. Yeah, basically, what you're looking at is, um, yeah, you want it to go down underneath the coil and then go over off kind of an offshoot set just because that bottom squonk pin is there and if you leave too much cotton underneath the coil it's just going to plug that squonk thing and you just get a oh, puddle yeah. inside of your gripper yeah no but, i always make sure those channels are open but yeah like i used to just stick a ton of cotton inside of each side where i had it just because i was thinking okay well at least it'll it'll hold it and it'll soak it in but the problem is is that it actually creates more turbulence inside of the barrel hmm all right, Get scissors. Wonder this is probably not enough cotton. No, not enough for two. Well, no, this will be enough for two. Okay. Okay, we're gonna play with this placement. Do, 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 do. Now the other thing is that some people have been doing angled builds. Yes, I've been seeing that. I mean, it wasn't else. too bad. Actually, the next build I plan on doing on this is a horizontal. My thing is, you know, like if I buy a, a, an RDA, and and especially when I buy a one hundred and fifteen dollar RDA, yeah. if I have to br br like end up in tears, you know, uh, having a nervous breakdown trying to build it, I'll, I'll pass. <laughs> you know, like that's, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, and it, you know, I mean, it, at least one thing that jay admitted from the get-go about this thing is just very specifically it's definitely not meant for everybody oh i know you know and you know like i looked the first time i did a vertical build was in the uh the 454 and i fucking hated it like i was ready to throw that thing in the garbage i was just like what the fuck man i couldn't get any uh, it was just like a hot unbearable vape that had no flavor right and I just played around with it and played around with it. And it was like, oh, okay, well, that's why, because I'm stupid, you know? It, and really, for me, that's what it ended up being with the 454. Right. But that then was again, it's the Lucid for me at first, too. Oh, God, dude. I My first build, I didn't quite have the coils out very uh, far enough. And it was kind of the same thing with uh, that Ken, uh, Stan did with Ken. He was like, you're not getting the best kind of flavor out of that, are you? And I said, that's actually not too bad. It's not quite what I was expecting. He said, just pull your coils out just a little bit further. And, I mean, it was just such a minute amount. But that's the thing with verticals. It's just that those tiny, tiny tolerances is what makes or breaks the flavor on these. Yeah, and that's the thing with with with, with the Lucid I've actually found more recently that – because I have my coils, like, right up to the airflow, you know, pretty, pretty yeah, much, like, for a while – and I was trying everything, and I actually decided to pull it back in a bit. And since I've done that, I've actually had a better time with it. I've had a much better flavor. And I think it's because some of the air was getting underneath the coil and going up through the center, and as opposed to uh, going around the coil and up, I suppose, is the best way to put that. All right. Well, you know, honestly, the, the craziest, uh, probably most eye-popping flavor that i've had out of the lucid thus far was the quad horizontal build that i did <laughs> yeah and i wasn't i was i was actually because of the way that airflow is designed i wasn't expecting that to be very good i was just expecting to be super hot and it was actually a really good vape it's just the ramp up was really stupid on it it was like just so slow hmm. there's just so much metal to heat up <laughs> right okay let's let's beautiful Let's begin. All right, let's try this out. Um, let me uh, let me present myself so that you guys can see what I'm doing here. Um, okay, so let me get my let me get my curved tweezers real quick here. I should just put this on my desk. It's right next to me. That would be smart. But why would I do that? <laughs> uh, vaping with just Mr. Just Right says, "Just ask Morton." He's like, "Hmm." <laughs> hmm. So I'm gonna try to get in there. Yeah. Did you see? Uh, <laughs> did you see Daniel's review oh, of Morton's RDA? I did. It's causing a whole hell of a. Oh my right god! Now. 
dude, that was great. <laughs> I don't know. And then his follow up afterward, the sorry. <laughs> yeah, the sorry, which was not oh. really a sorry. Okay, so this yeah, is, that was this a, is start having issues because I can't I can't get in there to get my cotton like. Okay, take oh well, hold on, hold on, take a take a flathead screwdriver first of all and push it from the bottom from the other side before you try to fight your tweezers in. Come from the back side of where you were trying to pull that cotton and push your tail over that way so you can get your tweezers under a little better. I mean the tail so the tail is already over on that side. Oh, you got it. Okay, well yeah, then yeah. just twist the shit out of it. Yeah. yeah, twist it at the top end. That way you'll be able to pull it through. Okay. I feel like I'm like I feel like I'm learning how to build again. This is like really weird. Yeah. See, and it's funny because it's, it's like just, I I scary. seem to have pretty decent. Yeah, you I gotta know you kind of is... have to roll. Yeah, you have to like roll and twist as you're pulling. Otherwise, it'll just tear itself apart. Or it'll knot up at the top of the coil, and then you just have to flip it over and start over. Use a little bit less, just because I think that I'm just using a bit much. Do do do. It's, it's very humbling when you're a builder that can build uh, interlocking fralians, and uh, <laughs> you can't do this. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Paper Swaggin says, this pleasant experience doesn't look pleasant at all. You're right. And this is the reality of this. If this is what I have to do every damn time I want to wick it, uh, you know, like that sucks. Um, okay, so someone was saying turn my tweezers the other way, like upwards, I guess. I mean, yeah, I suppose. Oh, well, you know what? That, yep, yep. yep. Who, who was that that said see, that? Matt, Andrew Stewart. Thank you, sir. Because then I can grab and pull down. <laughs> See, I'm just trying oh to God. get this in there without like totally ruining the coil itself. Uh huh. Yeah, I've done it a couple of times. Not thinking about it, just like, oh, I got this, and I contort the shit out of my coil. I'm like, well, that was dumb. <laughs> Here, I'm just trying to figure out if this, if I have enough <laughs> cotton in this coil yet to stop. Yeah, just kind of, just kind of fluff it out in that in that well. As long as it covers the base area, you're good to go. I guess that's probably fine. Okay. See, I'm used <laughs> to being able to pull my coil of cotton all the way through and go back and forth to like just get it nestled in there really nicely. You know, like not with yeah. This. So, and now yeah, my it's, it's now my too much. and now my cotton tail looks like it's made of Maviton X. <laughs> so it's all bunched up. Oh man, I still got to try that cotton. No, I like. Uh, you know, it's not bad. I don't. I don't know how in the hell Jay wicks it in this thing because it tears so easy. Does it? Because oh, when he yeah. wicks something, it oh, looks yeah. like it's just it's, like never going to tear at all. Yeah, well, he uses a little thicker than I would expect, and then he just rolls it. He kind of rolls it a little tighter, and then he just kind of fluffs it out. Right. I guess I'm going to pull some of that cotton. Out. He's not. He's not. Yeah, he's not kidding about that cotton. You can't, like, you can, I guess, but you can't really rake it out like you normally would. Um, you just kind of have to fluff it a little. Now he he did say that he didn't he didn't really agree that Maviton can fluff, and it really does. But it absorbs so good. That's what I like about it. I've, I've been, been running. Well, my I've no, been questioning ahead. the whole fluffing thing lately. <laughs> Unless it's needed to, for wicking, like in an RTA, I'm not sure it's actually necessary. Yeah, in an RDA, I don't think it is it really either. Yeah, I I usually yeah. I'll fluff a little bit if if like you know the well is really shallow or something like that, and I just want to fan the cotton out. But in a regular dripper, yeah, I don't really fluff it too much at all. Like this thing, I don't I don't really fluff it. I just kind of stick my tweezers in there and just kind of move it about a bit just to make sure it's spread out on the base. About as far as I go with it. Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's where we're stopping. I'm just going to leave it like that. Right. right. <laughs> You'd be sucking on a wet Q-tip. Right. <laughs> the flavor. Yeah, this is the most direct flavor I've ever had. Tenacious TX. All <laughs> I hear is a lot of whining. Well, I'll be. I'll tell you what, uh, Stan. This uh, this is a lot harder to use than the Lucid. 
Yeah, the, I am out. from the vertical standpoint. Yeah, I, I can't disagree with that at all. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this out of the bottom here. Yeah, and that's one thing I like. If you put too little in there, you just lift up the cotton that you have down there and just put some extra cutting, you know, some little extra cuts in there and put it underneath it and it'll work just fine. Wait a so what do we got here? So I've got, so the holes, where are they? Oh, they're there. Oh, okay. All right. That makes sense. Yeah, I am truly debating about doing a horizontal, like right now. Why not? We're already doing 502 stuff. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get stupid. Why not? This is probably going to be a disaster, but... All right, so, okay, so now here's where you need your guidance, right? So... Yeah, yeah. Um, this is so with this cotton. What do you what, what you said? You you really like say that there's just you yeah it, shouldn't have too much. Yeah, if if you leave too much on the top, it will be one turbulent son of a bitch. Basically, your first cut basically cut it cut all that cotton directly at the top of the uh, post. Okay, that's what I was first thinking. and foremost. Yeah, you'll do more, but your first cut will be at the top of the post. Okay, done. This one now, can use a little bit of trim. Um, from there, what you're going to want to do is, is at least as far as what I have been doing, is I tend to leave just enough for that upper squonk action to catch the cotton, to catch on the cotton. I don't really leave a whole bunch up on top. Just because as soon as you start vaping off of it, it's going to fan outward towards the airflow. The airflow is just going to push it around everywhere. Okay, So, so you want to leave just enough of it. Go yeah. ahead. Well, if you've got like any extra tails of cotton pointed out to the sides or anything, just trim those off. And basically, you just want just enough of a fluffy little head there for the juice to run off onto. Okay, so I feel like that one's pretty good. This one might need a little trim. Because, yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. If, if there's too much cotton inside of this thing, it is one turbulent son of a bitch. All right. What do you think? What do you think about that? We've got two little tufts. Yeah, looks pretty good from here. Now we're going to see if I have any hot spots now from pulling around all those quills, you know. <laughs> well, and the other beauty is, is that if you do end up having too much cotton, it's easy to fix. True. Okay. Let's all right. See. This is a 0.29. And I guess not bad. it's not in squonk or it's not in dripper mode. So I'm going to have to run it on a squonker. So I suppose we'll see how well this works. And did I bring up? Nope. Definitely not. Oh yeah, I did. I brought up my new, <laughs> I brought up my new batteries. Okay, fuck it. Let's do some three millimeters. I don't know. I might do a horizontal, kind of a lower build. I want to see if that really makes a difference. Okay. Let's see. So running a running a point three on a mech is uh, parallel mech seems a little interesting. We'll see how how well this goes. These fucking <laughs> janky ass threads, man. My threads are so rough. Really? Yeah, dude. My five ten threads. Like I'll wipe it with a paper towel, and I'll pull the paper towel, and there's just bits of paper towel all along the threads. Not something Damn. I'd expect from a United States based uh, company. So. Well, no. Oh, definitely not. Ow, shit. Okay, here we go. Bitches and hoes. I don't even know what the hell direction I should have my leads going so we're just going to go basic very long leads and work it from there one thing I would advise is when you have the lead the lead that comes off the top make sure that's the one that goes into the uh, top part because sometimes I will get into the habit of doing builds wrong you know like the wrong direction oh Let's see. Let me give it a little squonky squonk action there. Oh, yeah. That totally works. Okay. Uh huh. Yep. yep. It literally just went whoop and just went right across the. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, it's just, it's it's one of those you find the necessity level. You, you don't need a massive amount, but at the same time, you need just enough. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's see here. I just want to make sure that I've got juice in the actual coil itself so that it doesn't. Uh, Dry hit on me. 
Oh, come on. Everybody wants to see a dry hit, right, chat? Okay, hold on. I'm going to mute this because I want to hear the coil because I can hear You can always hear if there's a hot spot, right? Because it'll yeah. go it'll go like right away. Let me just mute my headphones real quick. No hot spot. No hot spots. Oh, oh, no, oh yeah, that. sucker. All right. There we go. All right. Although I this is this is quite a uh, not a very not a very vapey vape. <laughs> you got a little bit of bitch vape going on there. It's, uh, I'm, I'm dubious. I'm dubious, guys. Someone said I trim more cotton <laughs> off the top. Well, you know what? Here's the deal. I can always I can always mess with it, right? So I'm gonna try it first this way, and then if it doesn't work, then I will uh, you know, make some adjustments. Yeah, you my can goal take is away. adding this on the top is the problem. <laughs> Before I end this live stream tonight, I want to have this working where I like it, or have decided that I don't like it. Oh, shit. yeah. Okay, so what is the best way to do this? Oh, this is gonna be weird. Got a bunch of juice on my mod. Oh man, this is going to be so weird. Okay. So basically, I have to take my top lead, stick it in the positive, and then take my bottom lead and take it down 90 degrees and then bend it another 90 degrees to get it to fit. Okay, so let's make sure that we're not shorting out on yeah. anything this time. This is going to be so strange. Okay. This is going to be like the ugliest fucking set of coils ever. This is awesome. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put some new batteries in this real quick. And then... Uh, <laughs> Hope and you then get a vape. What happens. Oop. Oh. oh, I'm starting to lose the light here a little bit. Let me, let me turn, on my, uh, turn on my little fill light here. There we go. Okay, so you know, okay, so everybody's been like going around talking about Morton Owens. Is it Owen or Owen or something like that? Because like I, I know that there's that. I like, don't know, honestly. There's that little uh, like slash to the O, which usually makes something like an U. Yeah. Of an O. Um, if I can like remember my Germanic language studies well enough. You now getting this fucking drip tip out. Ugh! I want to use my purple one. Man, I think I made is, a I think I made a bad strange. mistake. I put this drip tip in with no uh, no juice. Oh shit! Yeah, you're gonna yeah you're gonna fight that. Balls. Yeah, that is a very very tight drip tip. I mean, again, it's one of those I do Balls, understand man. why he did it. Holy shit! It does not need to be this tight. Oh my Jesus Christ! I use this tweezers to like pry it out of there. Okay, let's see here. Man, this is going to have like the strangest leads ever. Because yeah, I really... I think Jay had a picture. Of how I'm, at like, horizontal. I'm at like level 3 out of 10 of being frustrated right now. So like, <laughs> so as long as I don't end up at like level... Anything level than like level high, higher than like 5 or 6 out of 10, I'm okay. So this ah, looks okay. like this. Okay, that's barely going to fit. That's for sure. That's going to be a real the hell. That is to get out later. Okay, I see what he did here. I'm sitting there looking at this, okay. looking at this thing, like, how the fuck am I going to do this? All right, let's get some new batteries All in right. this real quick. Why am I killing you, Stan? <laughs> Stan's like, for the love of God, man. Do you have one of these? If if not, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Actually, that's a good question. Ah! Does he have a five hundred two? Open the stand. Do you have a five hundred two? I'm actually very curious about that. I feel like Stan doesn't have a five hundred two. 
just vape it already. <laughs> I want to put the fresh battery. These are dead batteries that were in here. I want to make sure that my first experience off of this new build is a good one. Or at least as good as I can possibly get it. Just tell him. And shit. <laughs> oh, I mean, he says he's getting one. Okay. All right. Ah. So that All means right, you guys, have no room Jesus, to talk patience, here, man. God. Okay. I know it's been forever. I cannot get past that airflow. Yeah, it's it, it's it feels, a thing. It feels like uh, I don't okay. I, I don't want to be disrespectful, right? But it feels it feels like it's gurgling. It, yeah, it feels like it's kind of a mess. The crazy part that I found is that there are times that that turbulence actually really almost assists the flavor. I know that sounds weird. Okay, so second toot, flavor's gone. Really? Yep. That first toot, I had some flavor. Second one, not so much. So let's see here. Damn it, Demo. <laughs> I am getting the nicotine hit, though. I'll tell you what. Dude, okay. So. <sighs> All right, just just, Look just, at just, how just, just listen to this real quick, right? Yeah, it's turbulent. It's fucking turbulent, man. All right. Look anyway, at this coil. I will unpresent myself. You see this? Yep, I see that. <laughs> uh, you've done some <laughs> That's magic how I'm to gonna... get that to work. God almighty. Yeah, and now I have to bend the other one that way. <laughs> yep, this is going to be a thing. Where the fuck? Oh, God. Okay, that moment when you're looking for your coiling rod and it's in your hand. Fuck me. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, I thought I added an extra wrap to that. It's crazy, like no flavor at all, huh? I mean, I get some flavor. Is it is it any improvement to what you've well, already I'll, I'll experienced? Put it, I'll put it this way: it feels like I have to squonk it, but I pull the top out and everything's wet. Like that's that's what it like. You know what I mean? Like it feels like the hit you get when you're getting close to getting your, having dry cotton. You know where you get that kind of yeah. flavorless, like that like last few hits before. I mean, yeah, I might need some adjusting. I might I might push this around a little bit. Well, well, and like I know that I run a fairly saturated hit out of mine. Like I really do. I run. I run a pretty saturated hit out of mine. Okay, so I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, man. It's not like terrible, but it's not like it's far away from the worst vape I've ever had, right? But it's definitely not. I mean, my coil well, is so, pretty close okay. to these airflows, man. Yeah. So okay. So the question I'll ask is: uh, Is it an improvement over what you were well, over what you did have? Yes, but not by okay, much. Good. Okay, so I just raised those up a little bit. Let me make sure I don't have any hot spots. Nope, no hot spots. Yeah, that's a trick. If any of you guys don't know, when you're when you when you have cotton already in your coils and you're already uh, everything's wet and you know ready to go, you can always tell the hot spots by pulling the coils up to your ear and just hitting the fire button. And if you hear that, just immediately as you hit the fire button, if you hear a like a really high pitched like hissing then that is a hot spot because it shouldn't i mean unless your coil well most of the coils that i use have a ramp up time right and so if, if something is happening far too fast then that's usually a sign of a hot spot so okay so i've just raised those up a little bit <laughs> oh that's good that's, that's better sorry let me... that's better see can't see me no, no, no. I said C. Oh, no, no. I, I was Peter Portal Latin says he can't see me. Oh. <laughs> Open your okay. eyes. Well, I'm going to vape on this for just a second <laughs> while I'm reading some of these comments. Oh, my God. This is... Uh, dude, okay. a horizontal Ash build in this is not fun. Yeah, I imagine. Ashtrays remember... Um, let's see here. Ashtrays remembered uh, asked for coil placement. And this is where they are right now and i will i will i'll focus give me a second excuse me yeah goat is in the stream so hands 
so the focus hand does not ever work. Well, this is I'm like I'm bad juju on camera focus. Manual focus here. <laughs> All right. So that is where I have them placed. I don't want to go any closer to the outside because I will not have a <clears throat> nasty, nasty dry hit like I did before. But the, when I put the barrel on, there, it looks really close. Like it's it's close enough. Needs to be higher up. Okay. Let's get to it. Hold on. Let me put my autofocus back on. And I'll also put auto exposure. No, eh, no. I liked it where it was. Oh, I no. swear to God, it. If I like this horizontal build more, I'm gonna like probably die laughing. Too low, do you? Okay, okay. Everybody says higher, higher, higher. All right, higher it is. Yeah, like I said, I didn't personally have the best experience when I ran mine low. All right, I'm going to use my tweezers just to kind of pull them up. And I know this is not going to be perfect. I'll have to actually take these wicks out at some point and, like, tweak them a bit, but... You are forgiven, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. This is a thing, dude. Uh-oh. Yep, I got hot spots. Well, look at it this way. You take your coils higher, it only makes the wicking get easier. Oh, I got hot spots now. Shit. I gotta take the I gotta take the wicks out and do it do it again. All right. Oh, this is so crazy. I don't know how to wick anyway. this. That's go ahead. The only thing that I don't get is how the hell I'm going to wick this without plugging up the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, without plugging up the um, the juice ports, the suck back. Because, like, minus trimming the lead and actual adjustment here. Check that once out. You, once you That's get, a thing. Okay, hold on. Once you get the wicks, I'm, I'm presented right now. One second. <laughs> once you get the uh, wicks wet, or once you get the coil, oh, Jesus Christ. What am I trying to say? Um, once you get the wicks wet, once they're in there, um, kind of move yeah. them to the side and stuff like that. Now, I, I'm, yeah, guys, I haven't given up yet. Like White House Vape Cups Club says, have a little faith. I'm, you know, we're uh, we're working on it. I'm, I'm not I'm not giving up yet. He's about to break out a Bible. Lordy, lordy. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'm about to speak to Jesus about this because <laughs> I need some. Jesus in my life. I'm gonna use you know what I'm gonna use to get some 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 I don't know not to say uh some sort of way to like figure out how far they are. I'm gonna use a coiling rod to figure out how far I am off. Um what's uh, up, Sherlock Holmes? You're you're watching me struggle here. Just, just telling you right now. And this then, struggle then, is then, real. And Jay Jerry says you cut too much off the top wick. Okay, Jesus. See, this is the thing, man. Like, okay, hold on. I gotta I gotta back up for everybody here. Um, I'm getting, I'm getting some like conflicting things, right? Um, well, and that's the thing though, is that is at the end of the day, your vape experience is what's going to matter more than anything. So sometimes right. it's, you know, I mean, yeah, my, my personal experience may differ a, quite a bit from what yours will end up being to find that sweet spot, right, you know? Right, 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 right. Okay. So how's this guys? This is, these are, okay, hold on. I got to do this again. Present. Mm -hmm. Advanced <laughs> camera control focus. All right, so this is where they are now. They are pulled up a lot higher off the deck. Let me just bring up my exposure. They're quite a bit higher up off the deck now. Oh man, this is insane. Right? This one is this one on the left. This one right here. Oop! Don't touch those. This one on the left is looking a little low. <laughs> Sometimes I have to, yeah, I have to yell bitch. at myself. Like, like if I do something stupid, I'll be like, "No, no, no, don't do that." The hedro says, "You dumb more. shit! What the hell?" A bit more. <laughs> I don't know if I can go anymore, man, because then I'm going to start running into this top of this lead here. Uh, but let me. Oh, I'm with you guys. Ow! I just stabbed myself in the damn finger. That's awesome. These coils don't want to go any higher. So let's see here. Yeah. yeah. Then you get into contortionist coils. I can. I mean, I can do it. It's just I don't want to force them. Okay, so what are we looking at here? And I don't want to break my tweezers. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're, we're pulsing. 
All right, those are probably as high as I'll be able to get them without building smaller coils, right? That's pr that's looking about as good as I'll think I'll get. And definitely, yes, I have hot spots going on here. Too hot, too hot, son of a bitch. I hate when uh, you so look, look away while you're pulsing a coil. Oh, yeah. yeah, son of a bitch. Yeah, just get a noise or something that draws your attention away while you're pulsing a coil, and you look down and you've got like these awesome glowing neon orange coils, and you're like, stupid. Yeah, like I, oh my god, I've seen a couple of smaller channels recently. These guys are doing builds on their on their table cam, and it's like, dude, you are glowing those way too much, man. I'm, I'm I'm always a uh, you know advocate for barely orange. Oh oh, I guess yeah. I, did. I didn't enable auto autofocus. Oops. Focus hand. Focus hand. <laughs> you sound like him. Focus hand. All right, let's see here. I miss Ken. I know he's going to be doing stuff from his car, but I miss the guy already. Okay, I don't even know how the hell this is going to vape. Are you presented or, am I, or is it open? I am presented, but let me, uh, I'll unpresent myself while I fuck oh, with this. Is, this is insane. I don't I'll know how, how this is going to vape. I have no idea oh, how oh, this oh, is going to vape. You got it, though. Look, that's actually a pretty good idea, I think. Yeah, well, that's how Jay did it. That's that's how he put up a, he put up a picture on Facebook and I remembered I saved it just in case. Not to not to say that you know I can't do builds, but something like this putting a horizontal in it is you know a little bit more tricky than normal. So <laughs> okay. now wicking it that's going to be fun. Okay, cool. So what's my build at? Oh my god, this is not cool. What the fuck. Oh, I'll I'll heat it. I'll heat up coils a lot with canthol, but I just find that nichrome is a lot more fragile. And I had a friend the other day who was like, "Hey man," and he like came over to like rewick his RDA, or like yeah. he was gonna rewick his RDA while he was here. And I built him his coils, and yeah, he literally glowed. He pulled them out and glowed them until they were almost basically white hot. And I was like, "Dude, like, like," and and literally yeah, he was like, "Oh shit!" And I like and I grabbed the mod from him. And once they cooled down, I, I fired it, and there was a hot spot all along the back, this big, huge, long line. Literally, I would hit the uh, button, I would hit the button, and it would just go ding, like bright orange. And it was, I was just like, "Yep, you've you've ruined them. Like, they, you've completely ruined your coils." So, so that's the thing. Hmm, using a computer duster. Oh yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> I saw one guy. He was like, he says, yeah, dude, I tried to do that like you do. And he said, I caught uh, I caught the top of my mod on fire. I was like, well, you can't do it when they're glowing. No, because that shit's flammable. Yeah, yeah. He was like, why did it catch on fire? I was like, because yeah, dude, that stuff is like highly flammable. You got to wait till the till the glow of the coil is gone. I said, once there's no glow to it, there's not going to be enough heat there to ignite it. But anything prior to that, man, it's fucking game on. Right. I don't even know how this is. Uh, like, I think. The, I think doing a horizontal build will absolutely destroy the upper squonk action because at least with this coil placement, I don't know, it might actually still work pretty good. I don't know. Well, I'll so find out. think about like the RDA, like the dot 24, right? That squonks from the top two and it's just different. Yeah. Right? It, it squonks and it flows down onto the coils, right? Let's see here. Yeah, uh, like the fit cloud condor. Yeah, that's another one. The only thing I don't like about the fit cloud condor is that there is no suck back. It's just squonk only. Output. Yeah. Let's see here. Someone said Sherlock Holmes said Demo is prettier than him, but he's on every week. Are you talking about Stan? I mean, Stan has to be on every week. He's the host. And I would be on every week if I didn't have stuff happen every now and again. Demo. Sorry, I take brother. sorry I take weekend vacations sometimes. He's like Cancun called. <laughs> they wanted their demo back. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, I still have you presented. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. This, I've, this, I've been over here wicking. I didn't even notice. Not presented. <laughs> All right. Oh, this 
This has got to be a thing. <laughs> I'm really curious to see what you think. Yeah, I know. So am I. This is the first. This is hands down the first horizontal build I've done on the 502. So who else better to do this with than you, sir? Oh, I feel honored. <laughs> Well, you know, what's funny is like people question, you know, if, if I do the builds that I say I do, and like I sent pic, I sent pictures of uh, my uh, quad build on the Lucid to Stan, and he was like, what the fuck does that own out to? And I said, nothing good. It owned out to 0 0.09. It was uh, four, four okay. chain link coils. What's up, Michael? Thank you, sir, very much. It's Michael Diamantino hooking up the $20 in the super chat. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Michael. We're, we're good, uh, man. We are. Uh, oh, shit. So cool. This is going to be a lot easier to wick too because I have way, way more uh, space now to to right, get under, get underneath. See this. Hey, that squonk action actually still works really good. Yeah, I thought it would. It just yeah, it just pours right on top of the coil. That's all right. Yep. We like it when things come together properly. That's not the way to put that. That's a. I love it when a plan comes together. All right, so this is this is now a point at which I need to bring this down. Okay, Demo, put it in a horizontal. You said it's better in horizontal. Holy fuck, that's good. Uh oh, it's still a little turbulent. Holy balls! Okay, I have been shown that. Oh man, I have seen the light. That's an interesting fucking way to build, though, man. Oh man, Here, can you vape it again? Because I want to. Because like it. you basically. Yeah, it's not as bad as it was, but yeah. Sounds so J Jerry. Well, it's like you're guaranteed recommending that I like pack the deck with cotton and like use a lot of cotton on top. And Jared's recommendation oh, was the balls. very opposite. Oh, balls. Yeah, and well, and see, and, and again though, that all falls down to the to the experience. And sometimes it's juice. Like I run I have run the same juice through this thing the entire time. Even the one that I reviewed, which was not mine, that was PAL 702s. Sure. Um, but I have run uh, the Lost Art. Uh, I'm running Lost Art, the grape white. It's like it's like a white grape Kool-Aid is what it tastes like to me. But it's really good. It's really, really, it's a really refreshing grape vape. Uh -huh. Grape vape. <laughs> uh -huh. Robbie Williams. Uh -huh. okay, so here's the other mind-numbing thing. My build is coming in at a 0.18. Well, there you go. Yeah. That's, okay. I was actually... Fuck, it's six wraps. Six wraps horizontal. Uh, 26, 36, you said? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That's about what that comes yeah, out it's, to. Oh, that's right. My other build was seven. I said it was six. It was seven. That's right. That I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah. Derp -derp. <laughs> okay. So let's... Yeah, so surprisingly, with the horizontal, the vape is warmer. Well, so I mean, the thing about verticals though is that you're not getting any spit back. So I wonder if some of that is related to getting spit. Oh, back. it's definitely it's yeah, it's definitely spitting a little. It's not it's not unbearable by any means. I mean, hell, I'm only vaping it at sixty two point five. Right. I, I I pretty much tested it the exact same uh, the exact same uh, wattage that I had the the vertical in is what I had the horizontal. That is okay. crazy. So. Alrighty, more cotton just so you see the airflow, says Jerry. And then Dane says, "Okay, Jerry, Jay Jerry says uh, plenty of cotton or more cotton will smooth out the airflow." And then Dane says, "More cotton will make the airflow more turbulent. The air will have to travel around the cotton." Yeah. <laughs> you want the top of the coil? Your, coil, your coil, coil placement really does it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. And here, I'll be right back, bud. Okay. So let's get this built now. Okay. All right. Take two. This is take two of the 502. And we're going to go ahead and clip that cotton. Boop. Boop.
Now, see, I have this, the way I have this set up is that I've got a, a bit more cotton in the deck this time. So if I need to, I can pull it out a little bit. So, um, sorry. Right. That. No, no, you're good. You're good. So I think I've got it done again. Let's just see how this works. Yep. That, that does kind of, yep. Okay. Cool. 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 Take two. I'm going to send you a couple of pictures of this. This will make you giggle. The gigs. Oh, you damn thing. Come on. It looks like I have so much cotton in this. Let's get this done here real quick. So we got... Man, that is weird. Okay. Take two. That's all juicy. So there. I just sent you pictures of my horizontal build with... Uh, I sent you the picture that Jay posted on Facebook. And I just sent you a picture of how I have mine put together. Okay. That is a thing, man. I was actually expecting that to be way worse. Huh. I like being pleasantly surprised. And I like challenging Ooh. builds. I really do. Hold on. This airflow is now smoothed out quite a bit. Okay. Wow, that's that's a thing. Better, worse? Better. Cool. Mm. Obviously still not mind blowing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's like you're, you're inherently, just by the design of the airflow alone, you're inherently going to have turbulence. I mean, you, you can't have that right. many angles in an airflow. Dane, Dane wants me to show how much I left on top. This is how much I left on top, right up here. I've left that much on top. So I've got just two little tufts. So I'm trying to keep it as, as small as possible. Um, I am going to try. Yeah, see, this is working. As far as, like, you know, soaking up, you know, it is it is working. It's the cotton is bridge or the, the 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 juice is bridging across the top to the to the cotton. So mm -hmm. that's not a problem. It's it, the surface tension grabs it and pulls it to the to the cotton. So um, let's see. Yeah, I would imagine if you're running a really thin juice at the that you would need more cotton on top. But if you're running like a seventy thirty or or more VG, you're not gonna really have that problem. I mean, it's better. It's better. It's just not. I just don't get the flavor I get off of horizontals. This is this is the, this is the same experience I've had on every vertical coil RDA I've ever used. I just don't get the same flavor that I get off of horizontals. And I I wick my horizontals nice and tight, and I know that I'm not getting you know a ton of spit back. So I just don't. I just don't understand. Yeah, and see, like when I first started building, I didn't realize that if you leave too little cotton inside of the coil, how much spit back you would actually get. Yeah, yeah, that makes Like, sense. I just didn't. Oh, yeah, because when I first started doing builds, man, oh, my God, I was like sloppy cotton wicks. Yep. And I was like, man, this thing's just like filling my mouth with juice. What the hell, you know? And a buddy of mine came over and was like, stupid, put more cotton in your fucking coils, man. I was like, oh, yeah. okay. I'm getting, a whole lot of, I'm getting a whole lot of nothing. Um. See, Ball Sonic uh, used Fuse Clapton's. Michael Diamantino, I got to deal with this. People people say, oh, people all the time say, well, it's not your type of vape, then, right? I have vaped all different shit. I've got two small single coil, you know, high resistance builds in front of me. I have vaped, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to rage at you, so don't, don't take this as directly to you, but this is directly towards all of this that I've heard, right? The concept that like an RDA can't be bad, but it's just not good for you. Like, I think that's wrong. I think that I think that there are RDAs out there that are bad, right? I'm not saying this is bad. I'm just saying that this is just not. I'm not getting any flavor, like, at all. Yeah. Like, you know, like, and and cool flavor there that is a thing, is real, right? But I'm not getting anything. So, I'm just kind of you know. 
as Jay Hayes, you know, like, look, I'm, I'm, I am keeping it real with this, you know, like, like I, 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 I can't tell you that it's great if it's not. All right. The only thing that I ask you, even if you don't do it on camera, try a horizontal build in it. I will. I will. I will. Um, I, that, that is actually mind blowing. I thought it was going to be terrible. It's really good. Right. Someone suggested that I kind of mess around with the airflow directions, like moving it. So maybe like the, uh, let's see here. Okay. Let's it's do insane. that. Wow. I was not expecting that. And guys, I'm not trying to sh sit here and shit on this RDA. Like I know that I've got a lot of people here that are fans of Jay Hayes. And so am I, I just, you know, it is what it is. Well, and honestly, Look, if you were like the one odd man out that had this opinion, I could see people ball bagging you a little bit on this. But honestly, you're not the only person that says that they don't get a lot of flavor. You know, right? Um, um let's see here. Um, yeah, I mean, someone asked if it's closer. You know, I've got if, how close I am. I'm probably less than less than two millimeters away from the walls. Uh, I'm sure I could get him out a little bit closer, but I just don't. I don't find that it makes as big of a difference as most people say. With like you know, like how close you are to the airflows, and some in some RDAs, I find actually that if your coils are too close to the airflows, that it's actually worse. So, <laughs> oh, wait till you see this picture I'm about to send you. Because after after you shorting out on the inside barrel, this might make you nervous. <laughs> okay. um yeah I, i'm i'm gonna have to try horizontals but i mean it just sounds like a, like here's the thing right vertical coils if, you, if your rda is made for vertical coils and your vertical coils produce good flavor um you know good right but if i have to hack if i have to like you know struggle to stick a horizontal build in there i've got i've got plenty of other rdas that i would choose first um let's well, see honestly, oh jesus from, man you are so close to those walls Holy I crap. told you. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm gonna screen share this real quick. Oh, <laughs> I told on. you. I do this thing real quick. Yep. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Present. Nope. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Present to everyone. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Yeah. That is that is my horizontal build. Oh, buddy. It's not shorting out though. It's absolutely nope. not shorting nope. out. <clears throat> I mean, okay. I'm getting no excess heat. I'm not getting any uh, check atomizer. Uh, <coughs> I've already checked inside of the barrel about four times. I'm getting no markings or weird, you know, weird coloration of the coil. Yeah, you just must it's, be like really, really close. Um, oh, it's damn close. I would not use <laughs> an atomizer or an, on a mod that's <coughs> that it sits towards the edge like this. Um, okay, so let's see here. So Dane, we've already we've already done the high versus low coils. Um, my coils are like probably three, three and a half millimeters off the deck or off, not off the deck, sorry, off the lip, I guess of the, uh, atomizer. So, yep. Let's wow. See here. That is a thirsty build. Yeah. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but look how high these coils are. But yeah. Those are, those are sitting pretty high. That's what, I, that's about what I'd expect. I think though, for, for that kind of build. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm really floored though. I honestly I did not think this was going to be very good. I just thought it was like kind of like a joke. I will say here's here's, <laughs> actually, here's the thing though. So so you know someone was saying oh you should put it on a regulated right and try it with a uh, higher wattage right. Well, I'm getting a warm enough vape off of this right. It's a point three, but it's it's warm. That's that's the thing that gets me right when the vapor is warm and dense, but you have no flavor. Then it's like what is going on? Like why why you know like, and I just don't. I don't, I don't get it. You know, like I, I, I don't, yeah. I don't understand. I think I just don't understand what, and maybe that's where more, more no one is kind of, kind of going to his, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. Uh, more than Owen. That's, I think that's what he's on to is that in, in certain cases, the airflow will affect the flavor more so than almost anything else. So. Yeah. And you know, and I mean, again, you know, it all falls back to sometimes I mean, I know flavor is flavor. You know, flavor is always going to be flavor. Right. Um, you know, so if it's there, it's there. Uh, right. But after it's all said and done, I mean, sometimes, sometimes just, you know, because I, the one thing I do know for sure is that flavor off of a vertical is very different from flavor off of a horizontal, um, no matter which one it is. 
different. No matter if you take a, a dual coil and stick it onto a velocity deck and do a vertical that way, it's just you get different nuances of the flavor. And and I think that horizontals give a richer flavor, but I think verticals give a very bright flavor once they're placed right. Oh, see, you know, it's it's proofs in the pudding as far as I'm con concerned. You know, like you go back to this and it's like, whoa, you know. Um, yeah. Let's see here. So I will look. Okay, guys, like I'm definitely not going to shoot this review tonight for sure because I need to play with this a little bit more. But, uh, you know, I will definitely be, you know, looking into it soon. Like I, I do, I, as in, sorry, <sighs> ADHD is going nuts today. I will definitely be um, reviewing it soon and I will definitely be trying it out. Like this is now the atomizer I'm going to try to use exclusively for a while just to see if I can't, like, get something out of it because that's just when you do i'm disappointed man like horizontals yeah, yeah when ahead. you do the horizontal send me some pictures i want to see i want to see what you got going because i love i love seeing pictures of builds just to kind of give me new ideas too because you're you know you may go about it a different way than i am right that is impressive like i i'm telling you i'm gonna be walking around with this all night vaping the battery dead <laughs> I mean, okay, like, and and that, and it could just be as simple as that. I'm just not used to that kind of flavor, but um, yeah. Well, like, I got pissed at the Lucid at first when I put my first build in because I used a juice that I knew very, very well, and it tasted so different. I thought there was something wrong, so I went to a completely different juice that I was testing out, and it tasted totally fine. I was like, okay, what the fuck? So I went back to the other one and realized it was just picking up diddle, subtle differences. By the way, Dane. Uh, I will tell you, and this is, I'm just being 100. percent You 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 put you put up there. You said the only way you can short out on the inner barrel is if you hit your coils with the tab. Uh, that's not true. And I will tell you that I have had. So what? Okay, I will tell you this story because I told it earlier, right? On mods like this, because the deck, there's no the, nothing stopping it from pushing up further into the barrel. On mods like this, you can it can tilt that way, right? And um, you know. Basically, I'm, I'm, it'll tilt like that, and it'll cant, you know, the the inner barrel a little bit. On my last build, I was so close to the walls, right? I was really close. Um, it, it tilted like that, and I fired it, and it was like vaping, you know, Satan's farts. Like it was like hot metal, just horrible, <laughs> right? It, it was, it was like it was. I pulled the barrel off, and I had a big black mark on my coils, right? And I know that it wasn't the tab because of the way the tab was oriented, right? And there was no black mark on the tab. And so <laughs> they say it's non-conductive, well, but, you know, I, well, I, I, I can only go with my personal testing. TVP did have uh, his short out, and he showed it on camera. Uh, he did short his out on the tab. I think he, I think he had his airflow a little cockeyed. Yep. And But he had a very, very pronounced charred yep. mark on his tab from it. Yep. Uh, it, like this metal is very strong, but yeah, it'll it'll show it. Right. right. Um, I was gonna say, uh, as far as juices I've tried, I've probably tried five or six different juices in this. Um, and again, we're going back to the same thing. I, I I I can't accept the conclusion that it's oh well, you know, you're you're you're. I can accept that like I may not be building it perfectly, right? But like. There is no forgiveness, is what I'm gathering, right? Like you're either you either get the worst vape or you get. Well, I haven't found the, the good vape, right? But you know, like it, it, when you start going down the list, you're like, well, maybe it's your juice, or maybe it's your cotton, maybe it's like, no, 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 no. Like these are all things that I vape in other RDAs and are great. So <clears throat> if I have to buy all new things and I have to like go through this like you know quest to find a way to make this work, I'll pass. For 115 bucks, I will pass. <laughs> you know, like I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm. The reason I'm a little bit heated about it is because I did buy this, right? I spent 115 bucks on this, and for me, that's irritating. Like, you know, if I, if I, you know, uh, and I know that there are certain things you need to work a little bit more to get really good, but at the moment, that's where I'm at, and so uh, I'm gonna play with it for tonight. And well, I'm the one, kind of the one guarantee time, that you've but... got is that if, go ahead. Yeah, it, it, the one guarantee that you've got is uh, you're guaranteed there'll uh, there'll at least be somebody to get your money back off of it if it's really something that you dislike over mixing coils. Oh, because you know true. there's always people looking for them. Oh yeah, well, and that's that is just the thing is that 
one of the benefits of the limit limited supply is that it keeps the value up right like and so oh, yeah. you know i get in in that sense that he 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 certainly understands what he's doing when it comes to high-end products right that's why ferrari only makes a certain number of cars right if he made a ton of them it would go down in value um, oh yeah you know so yeah it's just it's just where i'm at with this and i gotta up my exposure again because i'm everything is darkening Let's see here. Losing, Damn it. Nature is, nature is making hell. I know, right? Let's see here. Oh there we go. God, I have the worst internet. Better. <sighs> well, brother, I think I'm going to hop out of here let you do your thing. Yep, yep, yep. Well, I'm sorry, everybody, that this was a bit disappointing. <laughs> you know, it was, well, I, I hope, yeah. I hope it wasn't too disappointing. You should never certainly apologize was, for it. it, it certainly, it, it's a bit, bit disappointing for me. I was hoping to kind of walk out of this and have my mind blown, but uh, you know, it's, ah, uh, can't happen every time, bud. No, cannot happen so, every time. I always feel really bad, like you know, like if I get a product that I don't like, I I tend I get I get in this bad habit of like if I get into a product that I don't like, I tend not to review it just because I'm sort of like, mm, like you know, I don't want I don't sometimes I don't even want to put the effort in, right? So um, yeah, but. I've, I've well, like I, I got a, a ton of, I got a, I got a ton of heat from the Cthulhu Azathoth because a bunch of people really, really like that thing. But mine was defective as shit. You know, I mean, I had crook, I had a crooked milled post, and then I had a loose uh, positive post that would not tighten down, right. and the airflow was a joke on that thing. So you know, and that was against the grain for quite a few people because quite a few people liked it. But right, it right. is what it is. You know, right. So, so all right, man, I'm right. gonna go eat some dinner. Okay, you have a great yeah. night. You do, yeah. Thank you so much. No problem, bud. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, well, I mean, you know, I just want to make things extra clear, guys, before I get off of here, that none of this reflects any feelings that I have towards Jay Hayes or Raven's Moon, right? Um, you know, this is, I still respect him as a reviewer, and I, you know, I just don't, at the moment, just don't like his product. So, um, it is what it is, you know. I hope we can all still be friends. <laughs> So anyway, well, why don't, if you guys have any questions or, you know, want to say some stuff, more stuff about the 502, shoot it over in chat. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'll chill here for a little bit longer and then I'll probably get off here in, a, in a, about 10, 15 minutes or so. <laughs> Michael says, I still like you. <laughs> well, thanks, Michael. I appreciate it. I will say, I will say right off the bat that since raising those coils up, um, it definitely, it feels smooth, right? But it doesn't sound smooth, I guess is what is where it's at. So like, um, I, I yeah, it's the only thing I can say really is that it, it feels smooth, but it, you know, I mean, if you gave it to somebody, they would be like, if, if or if somebody was standing next to you, they'd be like, oh, that sounds turbulent. So uh ashtrays remembered or is asking me am i getting a nord rda uh i really want to this whole controversy that's been surrounding the nord rda and whatnot and all this drama that's been happening which i think is all just so silly like anyway uh, it's vaping why does there have to be so much drama um anyway I, I i want one now i definitely want one and part of me is like well i wonder if this is like all you know like a like you know, like obviously controversy helps things because now I want one. I probably wouldn't have even given a sec it, given it a second thought, and that's purely because I really wasn't aware of Morton Owen until very recently. So, yep, yep, yep. Someone uh, Dane said uh, the the clear top caps seem a little better. Yeah, yeah, that goes against my rules. I have one of my rules is that you know if I don't like something, I'm definitely not buying anything more to make it better. So. That's that's for sure, but I'll keep I'll keep vaping on it tonight. I feel like it's improving as the cotton's breaking in a little bit and whatnot. It's it's certainly not uh, you know not what I'm interested in, but you know it is what it is. Um, I, I will J Jerry. I will give it. I will give the wicking another shot before I do my review. I'll try your suggestions out. Uh, put a lot more cotton and stuff like that. So um, one of the things that I love about Morton, speaking on that in that thing, is that his videos. Give me ASMR like nobody's business, man. I I I listen to his videos and I'm I get the shivers all the time just because it's like the way he talks. I don't know what it is. 
Um, okay, yeah. Uh, so, all right, we're wondering uh, what's what's favorite RDA at the moment. I'm still still in the uh, the reload BF reload 1.5 camp. You know, I I haven't found anything thus far that unseats that as my. I, I think that for dual coil anyway, the flavor is. I think better than almost anything else that I've tried. Um, you know, so there's that. Um, and then as far as the, uh, <clears throat> the review schedule goes, it's kind of all fucking up in the air right now. So, um, I, I just got the lit RDA and the berserker MTL RDA from Vandy vape. So they, they gave me that at ECC to do a review on. So, um, I'm going to be doing those reviews, uh, you know, probably, sooner rather than later if a company gives me a product to review it goes to the top of the list right now because everything else no one no one's giving me anything for for the most part very few people send me stuff for review so if, if a company sends me stuff for review then it goes on the schedule so um you know i i think that if i got a lot more products to review i think you guys would see a lot more demo reviews regularly which i know that's not fair i guess but like that is the truth um let's see here you should check out the deja vu the deja vu um let's see i do buy my stuff for the most part dane it's just because it's a fact of life when you're a newer reviewer you got to buy your own stuff um i actually you know what i mean if i I actually haven't even watched Daniel's review on it yet. I watched the very beginning of it, but uh, I haven't even watched the the full review for it yet because I I just haven't had the time today. Um, that's great, Jay. I, I I'm glad you really enjoy it. I it's just I mean you couldn't have a more different situation, right? Like so you got that right. And I'm just going to go straight piping on this one because I don't want to take that drip tip out of the 502 because I think it'll be tough. I mean, come on. Where's the 502 drip tip? Where did that go? There it is. I'll put the 502 drip tip in here. How's that? There we go. Not even close, you know, like in terms of flavor and in terms of uh, in terms of smoothness as the as the reload BF. So uh, until something can really impress me the way that that has done, I literally that'll be my conclusion, I think, for the rest of forever. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> Watch Wick Viking. That's that's a tongue twister. Wick Viking, Wick Viking. Um, yeah, I'll definitely check his I'll check his video out for sure. And yes, Dane, you were one of my first subscribers. I do appreciate it. Um, let's see here. You change the airflow from the inside of the R502, not the outside. What do you What do you mean by that, Jay Jerry? I am gonna make make you buy a reload, Michael. I I guarantee you, I I will not. I will. I'm not. You know, there. I, I think I've talked to a couple of people who have bought reloads on my recommendations who didn't like them, but I think for the most part, everyone has liked the RDA that I've recommended it to. I mean, it's 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 expensive, right? It's seventy dollars, but it's for me entirely worth it. So, um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna try the uh, man. I'm gonna try the 502 with horizontals. I might do my review on it prior to the horizontals experiment, purely just because this is a, this is intended to be run as vertical coils. It's just kind of like you know, you you can you can make an RDA pretty much do anything you want. I could stick vertical coils in my goon, right, if I really wanted to, but it's not meant meant for that. So then this is the point three. Just so all of you guys, uh, if you guys didn't catch it earlier, this is a 0.3 ohm build, um, which on a parallel is pretty high. But, uh, you know, I don't know. Let's see, where am I at with uh, well, I've still got plenty of, pl plenty of juice in there.
I mean, I guess as the cotton is breaking in, it's getting a little bit better. So I'm going to keep vaping it tonight. But uh, yeah, so that'll, that'll be... Uh, That'll be that, I think. Well, all right, guys. Unless you guys have any more questions, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. Um, and I have not done that, Dane, but it is our, it is pretty warm. Like I will I will be honest. Like even at a point three, it's I'm drawing on it very slowly, right? Like it's a I'm using less air because it's just not. I don't want it to be so turbulent, right? So the harder you draw on it, the more turbulent it gets, right? So I've, I've been kind of pulling on a little, little gentler, you know, which I think other people have said that that's worked for them. So, um, and it definitely improves the thing. It improves matters for sure. So, um, yeah, no problem guys. Um, I do appreciate all of you guys uh, sitting here and watching and, um, you know, the next time I'm actually working right now and getting my, uh, my big full on camera to do live streaming from. So we'll have some quality improvements from that, you know, for sure. So, um, I think, I think honestly, I don't know what you guys think about this, but I think I'm kind of, I'm, I dig the live videos and I think I'm going to keep this channel kind of moving in that direction for a while is I enjoy being able to interact with you guys. And, um, I really enjoy, uh, being able to talk to you guys like this. So, you know, I think that we're going to be keeping lives far more, far more regularly, I think than my regular, um, you know, edited videos. So but uh, I still will be putting those out from time to time. So cool guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you all later. Have a great night.